Hey everyone, welcome back to Playground Sessions YouTube channel. I'm Phil and today I can't wait to bring you a lesson on a Beatles song. We're going to be looking at Yesterday, specifically the intermediate level arrangement from our Playground Sessions song store in the app. I'm going to break it down for you. By the end of this video, here's the section that you'll be playing. Talk about timeless classic songs. This is one of my favorites. So let's go ahead and jump right in. But first I should remind you that all the graphics you're seeing on the screen are all from the Playground Sessions app. The app has interactive feedback which grades you as you play. And it has a ton of songs in all difficulty levels of all genres. Right now we're doing a free trial where you can try the app for 30 days, no strings attached. Click the link in this video description or tap that card above to learn more and start your free trial of the Playground app today. But for now, let's get started on breaking down this section. I'm going to start with the right hand melody. First, our key signature tells us that there is one flat. All Bs are flat. That means we're in the key of F major. The time signature for this arrangement is 4-4. Four, four. Our first note is an A above middle C. We'll do it with our thumb. Then we have a D with our third finger, so we're reaching up out of our position, walking all the way up to F with our fifth finger, ending by jumping back down to A, and then rest. Next line down starts the same way, but here we walk down and then back up to E with our fourth finger, and then finally an F with our fifth. Then we're going to walk down, putting our thumb on C. Our third finger comes over to B flat. Don't forget the key signature. And we'll end it with our two finger on A. That's all there is for this section. Go ahead and rewind and play back with me if you need to go over that again. But when you're ready, let's go ahead and try it to a tempo. Let's do this at a medium tempo. And once we feel comfortable there, then we'll speed it up to a full tempo. Let's do it. One, two, set, go. Now, let's try it at full tempo. One, two, set, go. Excellent job. Now let's talk about the left hand. The bad news is there's a ton of different chords in this section, but the good news is the rhythms are all the same. Half notes, half note chords. The very end we have a whole note chord, but otherwise we're playing all half notes, which means there's not a whole lot of quick chords or quick jumping around from chord to chord. So that's the good news. Another piece of good news is that these chords are in inversions that allow your hand to move very little between each chord. So again, there's not a ton of jumping around in large strides. Let's go over each one of these chords. First is E minor over G. Then we have A major. D minor over F. And then B flat over F. Jumping up a little higher again, this time to an E diminished over G. This is also kind of like a C7 over G. And then second half of this measure, C over G. Fourth measure, we go to a root position F major chord. We do that twice. Next line down, starts the same way as the beginning. E minor over G. A. D minor over F. B flat over F. E diminished over G. And C over G. Now here's where it gets different. 
we're going to go to an F major chord, but instead of root position, it's in first inversion. And we're going to just hold it for the whole measure. Let's go ahead and try this at a slow tempo as well. One, two, set, go. Good job. So if you need to, rewind and play back with that slow tempo a few times before speeding it up. But when you're ready, let's speed it up to full tempo now. One, two, set, go. Now let's try to put these hands together. Before doing this in tempo with me, I want you to go through out of time, each beat of each measure, figuring out do the hands play together or does only the left hand play or does only the right hand play. So for example, you'd start with measure one, beat one. The hands play together. They hold for beat two. In beat three, they play together again. Next measure, they play together on beat one, but then beat two, the right hand plays alone while the left hand holds. Then on beat three, the hands play together again. And again, the left hand holds while the right hand goes on its own. Okay, next measure, they play together again. You see what I'm doing? Walk through this whole section like I just did and get comfortable there first. Then meet me here for a slow tempo run through with both hands. Let's try that now. One, two, set, go. Just one final step, and that's to do this at full tempo, to speed it up. But when you're done, where do you go from there? If you want to learn the rest of the song, or check it out in different difficulty levels, or just start learning a new song from any genre, you got to check out the Playground Sessions app. Tap that card above, or click the link in the video description to learn more and start your free trial of the Playground app today. For 30 days, no strings attached, you can try that app. But for now, let's wrap up this video by speeding these hands up to full tempo. Let's do it. Excellent work, everyone. I'm Phil. I can't wait to see you for some more video lessons. Give yourselves a round of applause for the work you did today on Yesterday by the Beatles. The features you saw on screen today can be at your fingertips with the Playground Sessions app. Co-created by music legend Quincy Jones, Playground teaches the piano with interactive feedback and gaming features, all while using your favorite songs. All right, guys, I'm Phil. Hit subscribe so I can see you for the next video.